So I have my ICOM IC705, the newest radio from ICOM. Uh, I want to set it up for WSJTX, but in the latest version of WSJTX, which is version 2.22, uh, it doesn't have the rig listed, so how do we set it up? Well, eventually this issue will be fixed uh, in a future release, no doubt, by WSJTX uh, and the developers. But for now, we can still use the radio on WSJTX. So in this video, I'll show you exactly the setting that you need to change to get that to work. Okay, so the easiest way for me to do this is to show you what I've set up in my radio to get the 705 to work with WSJTX. There's only really one setting but uh, I will go through some of the other settings just to refresh on setting up uh, this radio. It's very similar to the IC7300. So we go to menu and then the set button and we go into connectors, uh, scroll to the top. Uh, we've got the normal uh, connectors options that you are familiar with, with the IC7300 and the IC9700. Um, just check in USB, AF, IF output, the output level should be about 50% and all these settings are, are default, so nothing really to change in here. Uh, if we go to modulation input, uh, mod input, we've got our modulation inputs. One thing that is in here is data off mod. What that means is that when you're out of any data mode, you will be using the microphone and also the USB for your modulation. So what that means is that if you start transmitting from WSJT uh, X or any other digital program for that matter. When you transmit, audio will be taken from the computer and also from your microphone if it's plugged in. So some may want to change that to just microphone and then that way you won't get any audio uh, coming from your PC. So otherwise, if it's the other way around and you have mic and, US, uh, mic and what we'll call, call PC audio, uh, while your radio, while WSJTX starts transmitting, what will happen is is that your microphone will also be live. So that's just something to think about. Uh, data mod should be set to uh, USB, so that's uh, taking the the audio from the USB port. So that's what most people will run um, in their setup. So the next thing to go down to is CIV. So this is where all of the information is for setting up the uh, IC705. Now you'll notice that my CIV address is 94H. Now out of the box your CIV address will be A4H which is uh, different again. 94H is actually the address of, uh, well the default address of the IC7300 so the idea for at the moment until uh, the WSJT developers manage to uh, put the IC705 into their list of supported radios, we're going to pretend that this is an IC7300. So uh, simply go into, uh, when you're in this, click on CIV address and you can press plus or minus as you can see. So it should be set as A4H. I think A2H is the 9700. I haven't tested that, but it probably would work too. We just scroll down to 94H. Uh, CIV transceive on, CIV USB echo back on. And that's all the settings that we need to set in the radio. So now we'll move over to WSJTX and show you what we need to set there to get this to work. Okay, so in WSJTX now, I've got version 2.2.2. And the first thing that you want to do though is go to your device manager and you'll see your IC705 COM port settings. So just check the one that has CIV. Uh, written next to it, so in my case it is COM port 7. So back in WSJTX you can see here this is simply um, the, the setup that I've used and seems to work. Select the rig as the IC7300 because as you can see the IC705 is not listed there. So we select uh, IC7300. Uh, serial port is at COM7. Now the board rate is 9600. You might have noticed that in the radio that it didn't specify what the COM port was. If we right click in device manager properties port settings you can see it is currently set to 9600. Uh, data bits 8 uh, again we get that from here uh, stop bits 1 handshake none uh, ptt method is cat let's close that down ptt method is cat uh, mode is data slash packet so that will switch the radio into a usb-d mode 
and split operation none. So you can click test cat, it should light up in green, which indicates that it's talking to the radio. And you can go ahead and click test PTT and the radio should transmit. So that's basically it. Uh, the IC7300 of course is only a HF and 6 metre radio, however in the uh, WSJTX software, I'll just close that down, the WSJTX software, if you select 2 metres, it will still select 2 metres. If you select 432, it will still select 432. Of course, if you select 1296, it gets a bit confused and doesn't know what to do, but it will select uh, 70 centimetres, 2 metres, and also it will go back to HF again. So as I said, this fix is only applicable until they decide to release uh, a newer version of WSJTX with the uh, correct uh, IC705 in the list. Uh, at that time, you'll also have to change back the CIV address to A4H to get it to work, of course. So I hope that helped and uh, got you on the air on WSJTX with the IC705.